all right the first game in the best of three or best of one let's see what they're gonna do between c knight against mr piggy is all about to begin on the map uh hall in edit bc polaco welcome to the stream my friend <laughs> welcome welcome okay man of the west against mordor and uh, we have seen this matchup quite a lot in the faction champion tournament and every time when we saw this matchup actually Mordor was doing a great job against the man on the right side we have the red man of the west player C Knight and his opening on the left side is the white Mordor player Mr. Piggy uh, two slaughterhouses are coming up for the Mordor player and we have an early barracks for the man of the west player traffic James welcome to the stream Everybody gangs with Cape of Rohan until Forts of Ice and Tree comes around. <laughs> Alright, Barax is almost up, so I think he's gonna go for the early push. Because on the map Hollin, I mean, you can also go for the creeps here, right? Left and right. But since this is like a straightforward map, I would say. I might be wrong, so let's see. I mean, you can go for the creep here at the, at the bot side as well. Ah, that's gonna be the case anyway. So he's gonna go for the creep as he is starting with those pikemen, which should also work, because the orc pit is coming up after two slaughterhouses for the mortar player, Mr. Piggy. The third slaughterhouse is coming up on the field, so I think the plan is simple. So C Knight wanna go for the creep into the soldiers, get a level 2 pikemen, get some treasure and experience after the creep, and then you can group with those soldiers and go for a push. Pretty much like how the dwarf uh, players are playing this matchup. I mean, uh, it's not as powerful as uh, Dwarf, I would say, because Dwarfs, they don't need to move. They can just enter the mineshaft and get out. It's gonna go for the creep here, um, which is safe. If you go for this creep, it's kind of dangerous, right? Because he can always contest that. He can always scout that area and then you might be losing the creep. He might say, thank you for the leash, brother, and grabs the treasure, and you don't want that. So this creep is really easy to take uh accidentally deleted a building okay excuses already boys early welcome all right radrim palace is coming up and uh, and the second orc pit is coming up at the same time after three slaughterhouses orcs they gotta disengage they can fight and handle those soldiers in a 1v1 unlike in the movies when they were killing those soldiers like crazy in in osgiliath <laughs> overnight the sneaky orcs Alright, two orcs. Uh, he's gonna use them to defend those slaughterhouses, which is pretty much the early goal of every model player. Um, unless your name is May Shadow Fax, then you're gonna play super uh, aggressively. I feel like Troll Cage against the men was always a solid start. It was always paying off. And what Mr. Piggy is doing is like a normal uh, strategy against the men. Okay. But he will keep spamming those orcs. Should be able to defend this now. Man of the West player won't be using rallying. Okay. There was a delayed rallying call. I don't know about that. Actually, okay. I take it back. Because he was forcing his opponent to use war chance. Alright. But what he, could be, what he could be doing instead. Was waiting for the pikeman maybe. Or, you know, waiting for the second soldier battalion to arrive. And then use rallying call on off them. But yeah. I mean, you can't have everything, and those swords are quite strong. <laughs> they, they are even winning, winning that fight, that's crazy. I mean, Easterlings, they are weak against swords, and Orcs are weak against everything, <laughs> kinda. So they can't win that fight. That's crazy how much uh, stronger the soldiers are in compared to those Orcs and Easterlings. That's why May Shadow of X was always making um, those Black Orcs against the Man Faction in the Faction Champion Tournament, and those Black Orcs, they were paying off. They are really much more stronger. Much more stronger, boys. Okay, so he keeps pressuring all the time, but luckily for the Mordor player, Mr. Piggy, he still didn't lose any of these slaughterhouses just yet. But also, he is not able to expand. He has only 4, that means he has uh, right now 400 command points, and Man of the West player has 450, really important to mention. He was also able to creep this work layer at the bot side, and even this troll layer, and grabbing treasure from both these creeps is actually a lot. He can now also capture this in, make some of these... Uh, Alvin warriors to support the army. We have still the war creeps in the middle of the map and also troll creep as well as the war creep at the top right side. Archer range into the upgrade level 2 into the rangers. That's the way to go against the Mordor player who keeps still spamming those normal units. But he has now some lancers joining the fight. 
Hey, Skippy is coming in Clash of the Prime! Skippy, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the sub, dude. Means a lot to me. Thank you. A nice trample on those soldiers. Beautiful. We'll be able to take them down. Mordo was trying to go for a counter uh, attack, but, you know, wasn't able to achieve anything. Um, those Elven warriors, they cost 400 each. So, he doesn't have the money, if, if I'm not mistaken. Never mind, he's going for one of them. Five power points collected for the Man of the West player. Rangers on the field, soldiers, pikemen to protect them. I think he was able to see the Lancers as they were taking down his soldiers. So he needs to make sure now to have enough protection for those Rangers against those Lancers. I mean, Haradrim Lancers are also not the strongest cavalry in the game. I feel like they are the second worst after the Wolf Riders from Engma. They are worse than Gondor Knights, obviously. They are worse than Battle Wagon. They are worse than... Snow Trolls, they are worse than uh, Revandal Lancers. They are only better, if I'm not mistaken, um, than... Say it. Than the Wolf Riders from Engma. 7 power points collected, 450 command points available. Galadrim can't, uh, can't join the fight because his command points kept for now. Uh, Mordo actually not in a bad situation because he didn't lose any of these uh, three starting slaughterhouses just yet. And they are all about hit level 2, which is going to be great. But he should not be able to deal too much damage because there are some ranges on the fields. I mean, if he takes down some of these farms, it's actually huge. Longshot is incoming. Should be able to take care of these orcs just in time to protect this uh, farm, okay. Oh, that was close. Closer than I was thinking. 8 power points collected for the man of the west. He's winning this fight at the bot side as well. Now he can group with all his units and go for a counter attack. But the thing is, C Knight is gonna be command points kept soon again. So he needs to keep expanding and he needs to keep building more and more farms all the time. Okay, 8 power points collected now from C Knight. And we have Eye of Sauron and Warchan. That means double buff for Mr. Piggy. But the problem is, his units are not gonna be able to compete. With the army of the men right now. Radran Pal is still level 2. We have some Corsars on the field. He's selling some orcs. But, you know, that's not gonna be enough to deal with those uh, Elven warriors. El you know, rangers. They are really strong. Pikemen around to protect them. But yeah, double buff is also a thing. Let's see. I like the way that Sinat is taking those small fights. He takes the fights. He knows he will be able to win. Now he can just disengage. That's the right call. I like it. Just force him to use the Warchan. That's so massive. And a mistake from Mr. Piggy to use his buff that early without the fight being started. Kinda a waste of uh, his buff. And now, Man of the West player has the buff advantage. And Eye of Sauron is gonna be effective, but not as effective as Rallying Cole. And that's such a great and smart move from C Knight. Sometimes you need to disengage. Sometimes you need to run away to actually win the fight. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, in the meantime, the soldiers are trying to creep from C Knight the Troll Lair. I don't know which version that is from the 2.02, but in the version I know, this is not possible. Maybe in the upcoming version? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's not possible, obviously. You can't creep the Troll Lair with the soldiers. Titan is joining the fight for the double buff action. Eye of Sauron was used, and Man of the West player was even able to win that fight without using his rallying call. And now, for his own push, no buff against double buff. That's gonna be massively effective because Warchant and also Eye of Sauron are both on cooldown. And Man of the West player, boys, has Rallying Call and Theoden in the backside of his army. Luckily, I mean, this uh, Elven Warriors, they can always draw the sword to deal damage to the structures. And then he has like a couple of soldiers and a pikeman beside him left. That means the damage she will be able to deal to Mordor is gonna be based on the ki on killing units. Oh, wait a second, he's getting into the backline? Mouth of Sauron is here? Uh, Man of the West is still holding his rally uh, rallying call, by the way, for some reason. He's gonna use it now. Heal was also used. Uh, Pikemen are trying to get to this Mouth of Sauron, which is easier said than done. That's a really great engage here. I think he didn't want to use rallying call there, because he was waiting for the reinforcements to arrive. But since Mouth of Sauron was able to get into the backline, he was kind of forced to. 
which is like a great situation for the Mordor player. He has still a lot of units on the field though. And look, these Corsars are dying like flies. Orc pets level 2 finally, so we have some Black Orcs, but I think that might be too late for that. Black Orcs are tankier, they deal more damage. But, you know, they have Theoden leadership and Rangers on the field. It's... Hey! Thank you so much for the gifted sub, dudes. I really appreciate that. And brown beer. We are my friend. Enjoy the sub. Enjoy the, enjoy the emotes. Uh, the best emotes in the Twitch universe, of course. <laughs> enjoy them. All right, Lone Tower summon here from the Man of the West player. We have uh, Rangers inside of that. It's gonna be really hard to deal with that. But I mean, it's so far away from this side, so it's kind of okay for the uh, for the Mordor player. I'm assuming. Mordor has almost the power points he needs, with almost, I mean, he needs still 12 power points for the industry power spike. Level 4 is gonna be very necessary on this mouth of Sauron for the Daub's ability to nullify the leadership from Theoden and debuff the enemy units. But I feel like he will need some more units or different units than the units he has in order to deal with this Man of the West army. More reinforcements are coming, Rangers, Pikemen, everything. Mouth of Sauron is almost level 4, 2 power points still needed, and we have now Gothmog joining the battlefield. And Gothmog is, can be a great choice, and hear me out. Do you guys think it would be worth? Because now he keeps making those Black Orcs, I mean, with keeps making them, I mean, he has only one battalion, but more are coming. Would it be worth it to purchase the Banner Carrier upgrade on them? So they get the Bloodlust, 25% increased damage, they have the War Chance for the buff, and they have the leadership from Gothmog. So they would actually deal insane amount of damage if you combine all of these together, or not. The Orc Pit is being the target, level 2, the only one, I mean there was a mistake maybe to build level 2 upgrade on this Orc Pit in the front, instead of this Orc Pit in the back. Theoden is level 4, he's almost dead, holy moly man, these heroes are escaping with 0 health now, Mortal player was able to win that fight but he had to use the War Chant and Eye of Sauron for that. And he just backs up to the tower. Should be good to go. There is a level 4 ranger battalion. Um, he needs to run. Okay, he's going for a long shot. But, okay, kill some units, but he's gonna lose the units for that. It was not worth it from uh, C-Knight. I think he should try to run and get away with those rangers. They are still alive, by the way, for some reason. Okay, in the meantime, he's going for a counter-attack. We have some rangers for the defensive purposes. The black orcs, they're gonna deal a decent amount of damage, as we know. Let's see the damage with the, with the leadership. A lot of damage. Industry finally unlocked. Should be used on this slaughterhouse in the back, which is being the case. But the transition is not existing. So the only transition he made was actually getting Gothmog on the field. The rangers are trying to die here. Yeah, suicide mission to the work layer. Gothmog is level almost 3. Fury is available. The farm has been taken down. Another farm has been taken down here. The rangers are taken down by the work layer. He might be able to take down this level 3 farm here, which is almost level 3. Okay, at the same time, we have a lot of units from the Man of the West player here. Rangers and a lot of pikemen. Uh, Theoden is coming back to spot the army with the leadership. The farm has been taken down though. We have 650 command points from Mr. Piggy against 510 command points only from C Knight. C Knight is command points capped. Yes, he has a lot of money, but I think he's making the same mistake like in the previous games against Me Shadow Fags. You know, forgets to expand, forgets to build some more farms. Because the money is worth nothing if you can't invest it in something. You know, at least buy marketplace or, you know, invest the money in something. Be, buy upgrades maybe for the units you have on the field. Upgrade your archer range to level 3 for the fighter upgrade for your rangers. So you have different possibilities. Oh, that's a nice engagement. Nice clamping. Okay, they didn't. They died. I mean, the orcs, the normal orcs died. The black orcs are still alive. They are almost level 4, but they will be taken down as well. Gothmog has to run for his life. Theoden should be able to take them down. Not a big deal. Uh, Lone Tower, Rallying Coal, Rebuild, Heal, and 7 power points collected afterwards, boys. 535 command points available for the Man of the West player, C Knight. He has a lot of money, but again, he's running into the problem that he, is, he doesn't have the command points he needs. On the other side, we have uh, 600 command points available. Siegeworks is coming up, industry being used on the Slaughterhouse level 3 in the back. Also, a lot of money, but also the same problem that he's running out of command points. You know, when you have that much money, you can just 
stop making normal orcs and make some black orcs instead. Maybe buy the Banai Heli upgrade if you have that much money. But I think he might also save for a hero. Like a Fell Beast could be an option. Even though I don't think it's gonna be very effective in this situation as the Man of the West player C-Knight has already some rangers on the field. And the statue is by the way giving fear resistant, so the screech from the Fell Beast is not gonna do anything in this situation. The Slaughterhouse will be taken down. Mouth of Sauron was using the Daubt's ability on those units, debuffing them. Eye of Sauron was used with the Warchant, it stacks, double buff for those Orcs and for those Easterlings. Nice, he was able to get into the backline with the Mouth of Sauron. He has almost 10 power points collected. Now look the money from Mordor, he has a lot of cash. He might go for the Fjallbees, he might go for the Witch King even if he manages to save around 5000 resources. When you don't have the Witch King uh, upgrade on the Fortress. Longshot is incoming. But wasn't able to hit any units because Mordor player Mr. Piggy was able to dodge that. That's a great fight to take for the Mordor player. Even though the statue is in the back, I mean he keeps winning because of that uh, Mouth of Sauron here. There are not many units, uh, many pikemen left anymore. He was even able to keep this uh, slaughterhouse alive. In the meantime, Tildin is so far away from the army. Tildin is almost level 6 boys. So he will potentially get the glorious charge for the Rohirrim from the level 2 stable. I mean, Rohirrim with the Glorious Charge, with the leadership from Tildin and with the War Chance, they're gonna be very, very strong. They can even commit to the Fortress at this point. Um, I think he's gonna try to save the money. No, he has actually enough money, I don't know what he's waiting for. So he can buy the upgrades here to the level 3 and get those uh, Black Riders on the field. Um, Man of the West player was even somehow able to win that fight. But he shouldn't be able to destroy this one. There are no more pikemen left, the banner carrier is spawning, but Theodin is coming with two Rohirrim. Rohirrim, they gotta be careful, they might be taken down here from this uh, slaughterhouse level 3. Yes, that was the case. Theodin has to be careful as well, he's committing fully. Will he die here? Will he die? Yes, he will die. I think there was a real three statues, by the way, what the heck? Look at this. I mean, they reduced the infantry cost by 16%, that means, uh, like, ranges they cost only 420 now, <laughs> but they're gonna lose every single one of them. This ranger battalion can't protect that. <laughs> Alright, level 3 Haradrim Palace. We're gonna finally get some Haradrim Arches on the field, I'm assuming. Level 3, Slaughterhouse and Haradrim Palace, very hard to take down. Quite tanky, 4500 health. Theoden has been taken down, unfortunately, from uh, C Knight. Um, we have Rohirrim allies, Rohan allies summoned ready. Two wells, a tower, a, t a statue here in the back as well. The valley is gonna be taken down. Um, he still didn't do anything with the siege works he has, boys. I mean, he, had, he has done nothing with that one. Not a single catapult, not black riders, nothing like that. He keeps making more Rohirrim now. I think he counts on the fact that he, his student might get level three, uh, level 6 and unlock the glorious charge for death and glory. And then he can use the Rohan allies in combination with the Rohirrim of his own. And then glorious charge... Make them shine bright like a diamond and commit to the fortress. I think they have the power to burst the fortress down really fast. Mordor is going for a hero for sure. He might go for the Witch King, by the way. I didn't check his money the last time, but he had over 3k at some point. Maybe he was able to collect the money he needed for the Witch King. Witch King might be a great power spike here for the Mordor army with the, with the debuff. It's one of the strongest debuffs in the game. One of the tankiest heroes in the game. And uh, since Man of the West player was kinda stopping to spam rangers and starts making those Rohirrim, I think he won't have the damage output he will need to take down the Witch King when he is on his Fell Beast. Siege works up on the field, level 2. I think he's reviving Theoden, there we go. Theoden is really close for the level 6 boys. Really close for the level 6. Witch King incoming, I guess so, Skippy. Let's see. The slaughterhouse is gonna be taken down. Three Rohirrim battalion here. I mean, this Tildin is very close for the glorious charge. He's gonna commit to that tower, by the way. The Mordor player was able to take down this tower here. Um, he was just summoning another one. Two towers. This one is the lone tower. This one is the original tower. This tower is gonna be taken down. Gothmog is on the field. He needs Easter links around. You need that. You need to see that coming at this point. He was using the King's favor. After realizing this army here, okay, Rohan allies summon. Witch King is joining the fight, though. 
Let's see. I mean, this is gonna be very interesting to see how effective this push is going to be. Screech is not available for the Witch King because you need to get him level 6 for that, unlike with the Fell Beast. Okay, he's just trying to get the experience on the Steelden, I would say. Let's keep an eye on the Steelden, I can't see him. Let me check his levels. He's almost there, he's almost there. He was just trying to share the experience he was used. That's all the hope from Sea Knight. He wants to say, for death and glory, you wanna commit to that fortress. I can read his mind, but he needs Theoden to be, uh, to be level 6 for that. Which is apparently very hard to do, <laughs> because he doesn't get any experience from killing those slaughterhouses. <laughs> kinda unfortunate. Rohan Alai's summon was kinda wasted as he's running right into the pikemen. That's something you need to avoid doing. In the meantime, Mordor was able to take down those uh, this small small outposts here from the Man of the West player, C Knight. They have almost 11 power points collected. Vern was used, I didn't even pay attention uh, about that one. Sorry, my bad, guys. The Witch King is doing a great work, keeps killing those Rohan allies in the Rohirrim from the Man of the West player. He's desperately, desperately, guys, look at this. Desperately trying to get this guy level 6. But by the time this guy hits level 6, there won't be army left anymore <laughs> look he doesn't he's refusing to get the experience boys there are some siege works though he's sieging this level 3 slaughterhouse uh i think c knight is kind of tilted mouth of sauron is back in the business um the slaughterhouse has been taken down <laughs> you know theodem might even die here 400 command points only though for the mortar player he lost the he lost all the level 3 slaughterhouses beside this one hobbits uh summon from the man of the west player c knight as well I don't know about that. Hobbits are strong against heroes, but can they sh shoot a fell beast from the with the with the rocks? <laughs> I don't think so. And against structures, you want to always throw the swords. By the way, Tyrion has been taken down here to those expansions, but the siege has begun on the fortress from the Moro player, Mr. Piggy. Yes, like two ranger battalions again. Doubt will be used, but there is no screech available from the Witch King. However, he's very tanky. We know that. And they don't have fighter upgrades, nor do they have uh, leadership. They have even the debuff on them right now from Mouth of Sauron, so... But they are still... I mean, I think he's just too scared. Okay, he's calling it GG now. He knows that he can't finish off the Mordor player. Um, because he has Witch King now. Rohan Elias was kind of wasted, and he couldn't get the experience he was looking for, for this level 6. <laughs> kind of unfortunate. Anyways, interesting game number 1 on the map, Holy and Edit, boys. Alright boys, the game number 2 on the map, Erin Lair edit, Mr. Piggy is ahead, leading the series 1-0 against T-Knight. This time it's gonna be Men of the West against Elves. The first game, Mr. Piggy was picking the Moro faction, now he picks the Alvin faction on Erin Lair. Alright. Let's see boys. Do you think Rohirrim summon should have switched to... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be very strong if you do that, you know. They are not dealing as much damage as normal archers. And, you know, Witch King is very healthy and very tanky, unlike a Fel Beast, so I think taking him down wouldn't be an option. He made the best out of the situation, you know, he, he knew that he can't commit to the fortress. He was still able to take down multiple Malon trees level, I mean, uh, Slaughterhouses level 3 and some other structures, but it was just not enough. Because he didn't have anything to deal with the Witch King beside two rangers. And again, two rangers, not gonna be enough to do that. Uh, two Malone trees from Mr. Piggy into the barracks, by the way. And we have two farms into the barracks from the Man of the West player Sea Knight into the third farm. Um, he might go for the creep. I think creeping is the best choice and best starting option here. One of the best in this map. Because this creep is so free to take, just like this creep here. Same for this side, obviously, with this creep. By the way, this is the map Erin Lair edit. In the normal edition or version of this map, the creep, the war creep here, is closer to the site uh, at, the at, the, at the bot site. So that was the reason why bot site was better to take for the players than the top site. Because you was able to creep much, much faster. That's why we are now using the edited edition from this map. Alright, pikemen start from Mr. Piggy. And same here for the man of the west player, he's gonna go for the creep. Building now the archer range at the same time. Um, what I would like to see in this matchup is maybe make rangers, but make also Boromir. 
Boromir's Horn of Gonzo, you can at least force your opponent to build the, to get the Elven Wood instead of the Enchanting Mist. I mean, Elven Wood, as you know from the Elven Faction, gives you also Fear Resistant, which is kind of a, a counter move against the Horn of Gonzo from Men of the West. But I would say if you force your opponent to go for the Elven Wood just to counter your Horn of Gondo instead of going for the Enchanting Mist, it's already a great choice. And if you get the levels on your Boromir, you can also get uh, the leadership unlocked, which can't be negated because he will be forced to get Elvin Wood instead of the Mist. Alright, um, Elvin Pikemen are creeping at the bottom right side. Did they pick random? No, they actually picked the factions, Iluata, in this game. Both players picked the factions. They are creeping at the top left side. Archie range level 2 now for the Man of the West player. Uh, C Knight. Elvin player is going for the creep at the bottom right side. He should be able to take it down easily. Two creeps against one for now, but it's gonna change. Um, but unfortunately for C Knight, he wasn't able to see those Elvin units. So he doesn't know that the Elvin player is all about to creep this. Could maybe contest that even. But on the bright side, he has a level 2 battalion, which is pretty much untouched. Rangers are on their way. Stable is up on the field for the Elvin player, Mr. Piggy. Rivendell Lancers are gonna join the battlefield soon. And he's moving now to the troll at the left side. As Elvin player was already able to take down the troll and also now the lair. And he will be able to capture this signal fire here with those Lorien warriors. Pretty nice. So, early game, both players were actually focusing kinda on the, on the map control, on the creeps to get some more money, more command points and more units on the field and that's being the case almost like all the time on this map Erin layer that we don't have those small trades early on but we have those big all-out fights later on and it's gonna be interesting to see how inf inf you know how impactful those lancers are gonna be and how well c Knight will be able to micro with those pikemen around the rangers because we know if you can you know if men of the west play c Knight can keep his rangers alive, he can actually win the fights. Because rangers are obviously stronger than Lorien archers. And when they are level 2 with the long shot, they can also do a great job. Okay, creeping now, beautiful. Getting more rangers on the field, but he also needs to make sure to have enough pikemen around. Okay, uh, Rylinko was used off screen, so Man of the West player doesn't know those units are buffed. He can see the animation or the, the, the glowing thing here like we do. The statue is coming up for the Man of the West player. He needs to use Rallying Call here. He has to use Rallying Call here. The Marketplace is coming up in a risky spot. Okay. Oof, nice micro here. Just in time. But look, he's surrounded now. He has no nowhere to go. Okay, that might be a fiesta, boys. Let's see. Mr. Piggy can give for, go for it. He's gonna go for it. And he's gonna take down those Rangers. Holy no. Okay, he was actually kind of not one-shotting them. They are very low, though. And he has to be careful. The builder has to be careful as well. But he's paying attention and building a well. Going now for the Grand Harvest. In the meantime, if a fight's here, I can see the Rangers. They are here. So they are going back now to, you know, to keep this farm alive. But it looks like... He won't lose anything after that, because Mr. Piggy doesn't want to overcommit. He knows they are buffed with the Rallying Call. My buff is going to be gone soon, which is being the case now. And then he has also double buff because of that uh, leadership those units are receiving from this uh, from the statue, which is really, really important uh, to, you know, to care about that one. Okay. What was that fight? Yeah, kind of questionable fight revolutionist. <laughs> I mean, he did a great job, but I think he just was kind of a bit scared, maybe a bit too scared. Which makes sense, because, you know, if you don't pay attention for a single second with your Lancers, you might lose every single one of them. Now he's committing anyway, which is a mistake in my opinion. Rangers? Oof, nice micro, just in time he's getting away, but he lost so many Lancers now. Okay, he might lose the entire battalion here, one alive. He, does he have a well though? He doesn't have a well just yet. This Lancer is gonna be useless now until it's heal until he, uh, he heals up over time. Oof, nice long shot! Beautiful long shot. I think Mr. Piggy wasn't paying attention. He lost almost every single Lorian Archer Battalion, boys. And those Lancers are dying like flies. Oh my god, everything is falling apart for Mr. Piggy here against those Rangers. He doesn't know what to do. He was also losing all the units he had at the top left side. 
Man of the West player was able to push him back and creeping now the last Vork layer remaining and with that also the last creep remaining on the map Erin layer. Has a lot of rangers on the field and we have now Glorfindel joining the battlefield. I would say in a situation like this for a C Knight maybe it would be a great choice to upgrade the barracks to level 2. This way you can get those stronger uh, pikemen, these tower guards on the field. I think that would be a great choice boys. Because now they need to deal with the Glorfindel. And I feel like Tower Guards are tankier, they deal more damage. They are gonna be very hard to take down for the Slorian Archers and even for the Glorfindel. With the Porcupine Formation, Old Ground Stands and so on. Okay. A lot of units double well to actually speed up the healing. Uh, double buff now also for the push is gonna be ready because Tyrion is on the field. Elvin player, I mean, Man of the West player has healed Rallying Cole. Um, level 1, Glorfindel only, 635 command points though, so he has actually a lot of command points. Double Barracks, one of them is getting upgraded to level 2. And that's gonna be the power spike for the Elves, as we know, the Mirk Foods. They're gonna be very effective, and I think a C Knight has to go now. And after defending in, a such, in such a great way, I think you need to go fast. Because, you know, I've killed like the majority of the army of my opponent. He has nothing left anymore. So I need to push and punish him now for that. Rallying Call is available for C-Knight and the leadership of Theoden as well. He has 585 command points, by the way. And Mr. Piggy has 575 command points. Heal Rallying Call. Mirkwoods are on their way, I'm assuming. He has no money for that. So he has actually zero Mirkwoods on the field just yet from this level 2 um, barracks. Now it kind of comes up to this uh, Glorfindel. If he gets level 3, and if he can dive in like here, imagine here, you, he gets a beautiful hit off. The splash damage is gonna be real, but he lost the level 2 barracks already. The, the, the knights, the lances are actually suiciding for no reason, and he lost a builder as well. He lost a builder, he lost the knights, the only knight, like, uh, knights he had on the field. That's not true, he has one more. But he lost the builder and the level 2 barracks, that's really unfor unfortunate. Level 3 Theodain, that's a bad fight to take, he's gonna, you know, feed so much. Okay, Glorfindel is level 3 though, Blade of Purity is being used, but he's attacked from so many units at once. Is heal ability available? The answer is no. He is running for his life, will it be enough? Can he get away? The answer is no, and Glorfindel, who was pretty much the only hero that could do something about this situation, has been taken down. And he has no money to revive him, actually. He has no money to make Mirkwoods, he has no money... To make more lancers. Man of the West player has to just keep going at this point. Just keep going. He's almost 10 power points. Can go for the Lone Tower. Can summon maybe Lone Tower right here in front of the barracks. I mean, this barracks the units are coming this way, but you can still do a great job with that. At least force him to make an end expansion. I mean, he has no money at this point, right? The Malone Tree has been taken down. Man of the West player C Knight has the control of this game. Has Grand Harvest from the marketplace. Has a level 3 stables, ladies and gentlemen. Rohirrim are on their way. They can also go for the Knights of... Yeah, that's gonna be the case. There we go. Knights of Dol Amroth. Beautiful. Where is Alex Shall not when we need him? <laughs> okay. Elves OP. Yeah, yeah. Elves OP. I see. <laughs> Alright, the Malon Tree has been taken down. And Knights of Tolamrov are on their way with Rohirrim. Let me check the level from Theodin. Uh, where is he? I can't find him in the army. He has to be there. They are growing still, so the Malon Tree has been taken down. Okay, he's gonna group now with a big amount of army. And Longshot should be available soon. Yeah, Longshot is available now and Man of Elven player has to be careful here. If he doesn't pay attention, he has not a leadership because he doesn't have a statue here. Tom Bombadillo summon though. Sonic Song in your face. He's gonna call it GG before that. Do it. Just it. Booyah. What a final blow from Tom Bombadillo for the end of the game. And Mr. Piggy has been defeated. The score is gonna be even again. And we're gonna jump right into the game number three as the Knights of Dol Amroth are arriving. <laughs> Alright, game number 3, this time Engmar against Elves. Sea Knight is switching his faction for the first time from Man to Engmar. Mr. Piggy is gonna remain picking the Elven faction for the second time in a row. The first game he was picking Mordor, he was able to win. And the last time, I mean the last game, was he was Elves against Man, he lost that one. Now he picks Elves again to maybe prove us wrong that he can win with the Elven faction against Engmar this time from Sea Knight. Alright. 
On the left side we have the white Elven player Mr. Piggy and on the right side we have the red Engmar player C Knight. And what we have seen so many times already on this map is that Elven player likes to make a dub, you know, early barracks in this in this uh, map. So you can kill this troll really fast. Um, because elves they like to push grouped to one side and middle is kind of blocked because of the troll creep and you know going for it and taking it down early on is really impactful for the pushes later on but it's also risky because it was happening so many times i would say the players are ready they know also now what the elves are planning to do and that means they can also kind of counter that by just moving through the middle and scouting the area trying to contest the creep uh, two Malone trees into the barracks, into the third Malone tree uh, from Mr. Piggy. I see two mills and uh, offensive Hall of the Kingsman here. Um, okay, that's interesting. Third mill coming up. That's really interesting. Why? Because it's so far away from this side. He's gonna go for a push, of obviously, with this unit. And he has nothing left to keep this <laughs> area alive or safe. So... If the Alvin player is gonna make Lorian Warriors, which is being the case, and if he's just moving through this side here, like, or through this side at the bot at the middle, he can actually deal so much damage. So much damage. Crown Master. He can go for the Gunzabad, he can go for the Pikeman. Uh, now he's gonna get some Pikeman after the Lorian Warriors. Three meals. The fourth one is coming up in the middle. And yeah, the Lorian Warriors are gonna move through the middle, by the way. Gunderbats are moving as well. I mean, this Gunderbats, they should also be able to take down one of these Malone trees because the second unit from Elven player Mr. Piggy are not Lorian archers. They are, you know, pikemen. Okay. Uh, this mill is going to be taken down, definitely. There is no way he can protect that one. He doesn't need to use buff or something. Just take it down. Might use buff here. There we go. Um, the fortress is helping obviously to defend this Malone tree, but it's gonna be taken down regardless. The pikemen they can't defend that one at this point. Um, Gunderbats are moving back. Rallying Call is still available for the Elven units, so they can keep going here. They were not able to see this mill. Looks like he will try to save the Gunderbat warriors. You can also take the fights here, I would say, because buff against non buffed pikemen, you can deal a decent amount of damage to them. Lorian archers, give them a little ta laugh tap maybe? Yes. Nice. Trailmaster has to be careful though. If he, if he loses the Trailmaster, the entire battalion is going to be taken down, as you know. He's now running away, which is the smart call. Just try to disengage here. And you are as fast as the pikemen. They are not able to chase you down. Okay, now Lorian warriors are buffed from the rallying call. They are almost level 2. This mill is going to be taken down. He's just going to demolish, as he knows. There is no way him being able to protect this one. Creeping at the same time at the bottom left side. Making more Trial Master units from the only Hall of the Kingsman he has. And that's a risky move, like I said before. Because now, in order to defend this area, they gotta, you know... Wait, what happened? Okay, another Hall of the Kingsman is coming up here at the top uh, left or right side. <laughs> that's interesting. I like this, you know, it's something different. This is not like a world championship, but it's like a practice. So try something else, which might work, obviously. And there is a chance that they fight, you know, that they face against each other, even though the chance is quite low because they are from the same country. And we're gonna have tomorrow, by the way, boys, the the the, the deadline of the signups for the World Championship. Tomorrow we're gonna count on how many uh, people we have from different countries. And if we have like a lot of people from one country and we can't have like 16 different countries, then some countries will get the chance to have two fighters for their country but we will still have some qualification games going on to decide who's gonna make it actually into the top 16 because then the actual tournament is gonna begin with the uh, double elimination okay nice one he was able to kill those Lorian warriors he's only one he has lost every single mill here by the way he has now uh, 350 command points only and the thing is Alvin player has also 350 command points only so he has only this one from the beginning. Um, he didn't lose this one, but the Engmar player lost every single one of his three starting mills. 
Lancers are here. Uh, it looks like he will be able to take down this Hall of the King's men. They might be close though. The pikemen are not able to attack this structure. I mean, attack those units. And he is going to lose it. This mill has been taken down by those Lancers. Um, oh, be careful with the level 3. Okay, it was close. They have almost 5 power points collected from the Elvin player. Um, 350 command points for P Mr. Piggy. And on the other side, boys, we have 350 command points for C Knight. And four and a half power points collected. He's definitely gonna go for the Felwind to actually try to snipe down those Lancers, I'm assuming. It's gonna be his choice. He has Pikemen around, so he doesn't need to be too much worried about this. Lancers right there. They're gonna need a lot of time to take it down. Felwind is available. Might use it here. Would not be worth it, I would say. Only for one Lancer Battalion. But let's see if he's gonna go for it. He has to do it pretty much now. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Okay, will he be able to take them down? They, he wants potentially, because they can run this way. Okay, that's unfortunate. I mean, he will be able to protect this structure, but he would have protected that anyway. Now he has Felwind on cooldown, and he's getting sniped down by those archers. He has not enough units to deal with that army, and he might lose the last barracks he has. That's not true, because he's building another one, and the troll involved then is coming up as well for a C Knight. But let's be honest, boys. Alright, I'm gonna do it after this game. <laughs> uh, let's be honest, boys. Um, this Hall of the Kingsman wasn't the right call. Because it was... It had zero impact on the game, in my opinion. And also this one, he had the top left side. He lost, like, after getting one, two units on the field. It's not worth it. We have seen many, many times men doing that. Offensive barracks. In the middle at the river, also in BFME 2, that's something we see much more often than in right. Nice one, nice trample, oh nice, that was nice man, beautiful, nice one. Nice trample with those wolf riders just in time, no pikemen around, he can keep going. He can keep going, he will keep going, nice one. He even forced him to use rallying call, which is delayed by the way. He's gonna, the rallying call is not gonna do anything right there. He's gonna lose everything, what a turn again. I mean, c actually. The Wolf Riders, they are never late. Nor are they early. They are arrive precisely when they mean to, boys. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, Extrovers are getting killed from those Lorian Archers. Lancers, they were trying to pressure a bit, harass those mills. They are quite slow. Uh, the Wolf Riders are doing a great job. This mill is gonna be... I mean, this um, Malon tree is gonna be potentially taken down. Wolf packs are coming now from the Stroll and Wolf Ten. The second Hall of the Kingsman is building up for C Knight. 500 command points available. Almost 6 power points collected. After Rallying Call, I mean, after Warchon and uh, Velvind. And we have 8 power points collected for Mr. Piggy. 375 CP only, though. Which might be even a bit, a bit less, but he was able to keep this level 2 uh, Malon Tree alive, which is one of the major Malon Trees, by the way. He has now, what, 2 Malon Trees level 2. That's all he got in one level one. Um, nine power points. He can, he's gonna potentially go for the mist, I'm assuming. He didn't go for the heal. Or, you know, let's see what he's gonna go for. Double hole of the Kingsman. Now he can actually keep spamming those units. I mean, Elvin plays far away from being able to upgrade one of these barracks to level two for the Mirk Woods to arrive because he has a stable and double barracks, but not the command points he needs. I mean, he has his command points kept, so he needs to keep making those Malon trees try to protect them and keep them alive. And he's also not having a great amount of resource income. Gonna go for the troll creep in the middle of the map. I think that's the last creep on the map, right? Yeah, that's the last creep remaining on the map. On the map Westfold. Uh, 575 CP for Engma. He has a lot of units now on the field. Uh, all the structures are still level 1. Um, but I'm pretty sure that he's gonna make the transition soon into the into the snow trolls potentially, or I mean into into the dark rangers. I mean, sorry, into the dark rangers could be a great choice. He has now enough pikemen around. Uh, two pikemen for two archers. He was able to secure the creep and the treasure from the creep. The wolf packs are taking care of these pikes. Not a big deal for them. Engma is getting more and more power points. They're running for their lives, they should be able to disengage. I like them a bit more. I mean, I like them a lot more than the work packs from Isengard for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's a big army here from Engma. And he has Rallying Call. I mean, I keep saying Rallying Call. War Chance and Felvin available. Lancers, they need to be careful here, by the way. Okay, he's paying attention. Warchan was used. Is he gonna use Felvin? Uh, he should have used it on the on the Lancers, in my opinion. Okay, he's gonna use Rallying Call now. Um, but I would say Engma still should dominate that fight. Because the Wolf Packs are coming. And they should easily take care of these pikemen. Not a big deal for them, as you know. Engma has now the Orc Summon. Which is not bad, because... Uh, Alvin player doesn't have any pi any more horses. These horses, they're not gonna do anything. Orcs on top of the enemy units. Okay. Uh, expanding at the same time quite nicely. 650 command points available, boys. There's a lot of units here, as you can see. Um, and yeah, he won the fight. There is not much left anymore. He might be able to kill this level 2 barracks. Again, a mistake here from Mr. Piggy, by the way. Why would you build or upgrade the barracks in the front to level 2? Which is most likely gonna be the target first. Just do it here in the backside. Or maybe make another one here in the backside of your army. Miss was used defensively. Mirkwoods are coming. They might get killed the second they join the fight. They cost 800 each, boys. So if you lose them like this... He's, he's using actually uh, the Elven Cloak to get stealthed. So that he can't be attacked. Which is smart from Mr. Piggy to not lose them. In the meantime, this signal fire is getting captured. Nice trample here with those lancers. Glorfindel is on the field, level 2 now. Waldo has to disengage and has to run for his life. 700 command points. Um, both the Olaf the Kingsmen are still level 1, as well as the Troll and Wolfden. But in order to take down these Mirkwoods, I would say he will definitely uh, need some Dark Rangers. Long shot with the Felvin combination could be a great choice to go for. Snow Trolls, maybe? Yeah, he's gonna upgrade the Troll and Wolf then to level 2. Snow Trolls are actually gonna be great to see. Walder was able to get away from Glorfindel. He's level 2 already, by the way. Level 3, he will unlock the Pillage. Which is actually very good. Because now you will potentially end up killing those Mirkwoods. And killing them is gonna give you so much cash. 675. Okay. Double buff for the Hillman units, against no double buff for the Elven units, but, you know, Mirkwoods, they don't need that double buff. Uh, Glorfindel is chasing down those wolf packs. the Builder is running for his life, and it will be taken down, okay. With nice hit, <laughs> hitting like a truck, by the way, absolutely. Almost level 3, going for attack now. I mean, I think you need to take that fight. You can take that fight. There is only one one Mirkwood and they are even a bit damaged. So I don't think that they can do much. Is he waiting for the Snow Trolls? Yes, he does. It's a massive army here. But in this situation, it's maybe about quality and not about quantity. What's going on? Uh, welcome back. Um, we have Miss, Mr. Piggy against C-Knight 1-1. That's the game number 3. Elves against Engma. Calvin was used. He was able to catch those uh, Mirkwoods. Might be able to take them down. One more Mirkwood is coming. Rallying Call was used now. Where are the Snow Trolls when we need them? Ooh, Glorfindel has to be careful. He's running into the Pikeman here at the top right side. Taking way too much damage. Almost got killed. Oh my godness. So close once again. He was forced to be used though. But in the meantime, look. Elvin army is getting demolished. Kinda. He's gonna lose all the front line now, and then the snow trolls they can clean up. But where are they? There they are. They are joining the fight, boys. Level 1. Okay, the Mirkwoods are dying now. And plus 14 for each each kill on this Mirkwoods because of that uh, outlaw leadership from Walter, boys. Plus 14. He was trying to use the... He was actually able to use the, 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 the uh, Elven Cloak. That's crazy. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are not dead, boys. They are level 2. He was able to win that fight as well. Waldo was able to get away though. He's almost level 4. Level 5, he will be able to summon more reinforcements. Um, Glorfindel is disengaging. This Malone tree is gonna be taken down next. Um, making more snow trolls might be a mistake. There we go. That's what I wanted to uh, that's what I wanted to see because you need to upgrade the Hall of the Kingsman now to level 3. To get some dark ranges. In this situation. The banner carry upgrade will be very useful, not only because of the power spike you gain 
on your Dark Rangers with the long shot, but also on your Snow Trolls with the charge attack. Uh, the thing is that I think you can use those Snow Trolls still for harassment. They're gonna be weak against Glorfindel, as we know. They're gonna be weak against Pikemen. He has only one Pikeman, so he might try to go for a play here. The Mirkwoods are, you know, like glass cannons. They're gonna get one-shotted once you touch them. That's why the album player Mr. Piggy has to make sure to have enough protection around. But I like the way he's playing. He actually keeps spamming so many pikemen. Which is like a like a good and bad thing at the same time. Panther, welcome. Like a bad and good thing at the same time. Why? Uh, because, you know, for the pikemen you could have more Mirkwoods maybe. But this is a safer way. Okay, he needs to be careful. Uh, Glorfindel is a one-man army doing his thing, taking down those mills slowly but surely. This mill, uh, this barracks is still very low, by the way. That's the only level two barracks he has. Yielding now some tower expansions. Orcs, giants. Okay, giants is gonna commit to that fight. I didn't check the power points, and he has 900 command points, by the way. Or oh, the fortress. The, the, this Glorfindel has to come back now. He needs to come back. And who although is level five, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, he needs to kill this giants really fast. He can't get to them with this uh, pikeman, by the way. Waldo can summon now the hillman if he wants to. One mountain giant is gonna be taken down. Can he finish that one? He needs one more hit. One more hit. Felwind, just to get this one more hit off. And yes, the fortress from Mr. Piggy has been taken down, ladies and gentlemen. That's massive. <laughs> 920, 925 command points for Engmar, by the way, boys. That's crazy. 500 command points only. But look, the money from Mr. Piggy. He actually has almost the money he needs to rebuild the fortress. <laughs> but by the time he's gonna be read, ready to do that, he's gonna lose every single unit remaining on the field. Yes, he has the money now. Um, Glorfindel is still alive, so he actually didn't care too much. I hope he's gonna wait until the vision is gone to build the... Let's see the you know the visage of um, the vision of the Angmar player. He's gonna build it here at the corner. The, so the fortress is building up again, <laughs> but I think it's not gonna be enough. He has, on, he has barely any Mirkwoods alive. He has a level five Lorien archer battalion, so uh, losing the last barracks. The stable is still up here in the fields. He has level three Malon trees here, a level two almost here. But I think he's gonna lose every single one of them now. He has not enough units to protect that. Indeed, look, he has only 141 population he's able to use now from 525, but this 525 is going to drop very low, very soon. So Glorfindel has to be around to, you know, protect this fortress. 19 power points collected. He has a lot of power points, but he can't use them at this point. The stable. Okay, a lot of units are coming from this to all of the Kingsmen, as you can see, boys. The stable is gonna be taken down next. He has still snow trolls here. And almost no units. I think, yeah, the only unit he has on the field for now is definitely um, this Glorfindel. But he doesn't know that he's building the fortress again. He doesn't know that. He, might, he will know soon, I guess. If he gets to see that uh, the, the, the fortress here. I can't tell you if he is able to see it yet. He might not be able to. Let's see. I think he's just committing fully now, summoning whites and stuff to kill the last production building. I think now he's wondering. He has to have a barrack somewhere, but now he will be able to see the, uh, the, the fortress coming up for Mr. Piggy. He has still decent amount of cash, but the thing is, he has no more units on the field. The only level 5 uh, Lorien Archer Battalion with two archers left will be taken down next. He has still a level 3 and a level 2 Malon 3 here. This one is under his control as well. <laughs> but I don't think that this is gonna do anything for you, man. <laughs> Let's see. The fortress is up, boys. Now. Uh, he has 20 power points collected. He's gonna build a wall up here. Um, I think he has enough units. He Eagles will be summoned, though. Eagles will be summoned for defensive purposes. He has almost nothing that can deal with these Eagles besides a couple of extrovers. But not too many. They can't do anything about them. Okay, that's gonna delay. I, I, that's not gonna deny at this point. This game should be over. I don't... I mean, if Mr. Piggy wins that one, he needs to get an expert patch on GameReplace.org. You know what I'm saying? Yes, 375 CP. 
And once he loses these two Malon trees, he's gonna be at 250. <laughs> 70 CP is only from this Glorfindel. That's all he got. Was able to kill the forge. We have Karsh joining the fights. Karsh is a hero from Engma. Hm, we don't see him pretty much ever. Unlike Waldo. Waldo we see almost every single game when we see Engma playing. Eagles are around, but they need to be used now to deal with that army. Glorfindel has, uh, has played of purity still on cooldown. Felvin was used. Oh, he's getting trapped. Heal, but look the damage. He's being inside the army. And now four out of uh, zero out of uh, 425 command points <laughs> for the album player, Mr. Piggy Boys. He's gonna call it GG now. There is no way him being able to win that as the Eagles are gone now, boys. And C Knights going for a push. Sneak attack. Glorfindel wasn't in time around to react to that. And the fortress has been taken down by the giant summon. I should have called it a while ago, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. And GG's. C-Knight was able to win that series against Mr. Piggy 2-1.